be bumping into the mic, yo. No, no, no. You have no, you have no place. You have no place. Hey, Dee Dee. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Sorry, I was just checking up. Hey, Jan, James, Mom, I'm to get in there. Melinda. Hello, 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 hello. Hey. Whoa, 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 wow. <laughs> Jan said, I wanted to be okay, first. Can you remove it. everyone else? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's a delete button. But you are technically a moderator. But I'll tell you all one thing. I think I figured out. So on our Bible study this morning, when we was having all the problems with the fuzziness, I figured it out, man. My Wi-Fi box was up in the corner. Where it's always been. Like way away from the window. And I thought, huh, I'm going to try something. I'm going to move the Wi-Fi box over in front of the window. And when I did, I went from three bars of Wi-Fi to full Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. <laughs> Which is five bars. She is annoying. <laughs> annoying. So, right. update. Whoa. I still never heard anything from the job people. Has it changed his phone number? What? And now it's confused them. Oh, whatever. Even though he done his part, he communicated everything that he was supposed to before he ever did it. We changed it in his profile. He literally did everything he was supposed to do as an adult. Communicating, up, first up. time ever, first time ever, and they still can't get it right. Don't you tell me. Back up. The no. gain is up really high, so it's like. Why do you have it up that high? So it will pick I'm up our voice. I'm already loud, bro. Uh, I'm not sitting back. I can't sit. Quit telling me what to do. You're not the boss of me. I don't know what you think. Ah, blowing eardrums out over here. Well, they can turn their volume down. Oh, oh. Tasha, hello, Heartland, hey, Dingy Tang. David Tamer, what's up there? Barb. Cheryl. Beth, hello, Beth. How are you doing? Thank you guys for coming in and hanging out with this crazy Wait. one. But as you can see, it's not doing the fuzzy things like it was on my. I'm sitting back now because you asked. It was, uh, it was doing the fuzzies earlier. Which is crazy because I didn't notice it on, on our Bible study because the only thing I have to look at during the Bible study because I'm using my phone for scripture is I'm only seeing the stream yard and it, it looks perfectly clear. So when I went back to watch it and then realized there's like, you could hardly see me through half of it. You are annoying. <laughs> You are the definition of me. Oh, come on. I'm the coolest dude to ever live. If y'all could see my eyebrows. I'm so blessed to be able to live your life with such a human being. He's full of crap. <laughs> I don't know what kind they of do. coffee they gave this woman today, but they better dude, stop. It was, it, was, it, it was the dark. <laughs> Dark, dark roast, and I made it strong at like three. Tish, hello, Tish. Sorry, I wasn't trying to cut you off. Whatever, yeah, you were. <laughs> Shut up. Get away from me. No, look at my white legs, y'all. Yes, it's the beginning of summertime. <laughs> These legs ain't seen but any kind of light. Neck, though, you see that red neck? I I stay nice and tan. Let no. Me know. I got yes, I'm a redneck. I am oh, a natural like, no, redneck. I've never seen anybody with a legit redneck. <laughs> Lynn said I'm so full I... of it. <laughs> he is. You'd be right. Irritating like a mosquito. <laughs> the dripping. Which the one? Her, I know. Sick. She won't stop sucking my blood. <laughs> I love you guys. I can't do anything with it. So. We need this job to hurry and go through, guys, because I am, like, going said, hey, stir children. crazy. Yes, ma'am. Going stir crazy, guys. I'm ready for you to go back to work. 
that's like the past couple of days I've been letting her take the car back from for oh, lunch. God. Mistake, man. Four hours. That, four hours. Yeah, well, it only takes two hours to start like, uh, need something to do. There's plenty. I can literally give you a list of a uh, honey to do, baby, that I to keep you occupied. James said, not a mosquito, more like a no see -um. <laughs> What? I don't know what that means. I'm sorry, James. Matt David, Sammy, You're you have my permission. Person. Who said that? Who said that? We'll be at the Jan. Thank you, Jan. Oh, my gosh. David, start packing. It will save you so much time once you're ready. to. <laughs> that is true. This is true. We, we actually have a ton of stuff that we need to just be throwing out, which we are about to be starting here pretty soon, actually. Uh, we were just talking about that over the weekend, is uh, getting a dumpster. and Once he gets paycheck. Yeah, getting a dumpster put up out here. That way we can just start sifting through stuff, slimming things down as much as possible to just... The bare minimum of what we need and then we just we're going to try to keep just enough that to fill up one u-haul load and then i plan on getting a uh one of those front end loaders for a car you know what i mean it just picks up the front of the car that way we can just hook the lexus up to the back of the u-haul and haul bone 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 then we don't have to drive the lexus all the way to Kentucky. We can just pull it to Kentucky and don't have to worry about any car issues, right? I don't wear shorts because my legs are white. My legs are white because I don't wear shorts. <laughs> Makes sense, Barb. <laughs> I actually wear shorts a lot during the summertime, but as you can tell, it's the beginning of summer and I have not worn shorts in all winter. I have an interview tomorrow. I'm going to get my hopes, not going to get my hopes up because I trust God and he is in control. I'm at peace, but could use some prayers, please. Absolutely, Tish. We will definitely be praying for you. And congratulations. That's awesome. My son was telling me they were getting death threats. And what's that, that about? Crazy? Like on YouTube or IRL. Really? Getting death threats? For what? Thank you, Jan, for sharing out the live. I'm sorry, I'm going back. Now is the to... time to do it. Stop procrastinating. Don't make me come there. <laughs> I know. I know. It's not so much the. I mean, it is procrastination, but he has a tendency of holding on to things that, that don't need to be held on to. So I typically will start slow. I've been throw, slowly yes. throwing stuff away when he has no idea. Because what he doesn't remember that he has. What I can fit in the trash can. What, baby? I'm trying to comment. No, I have no idea, Tasha. I have no idea. That's that's insane, though. Did you find your snoot spray? Listen, so his sister was My in, sister. She was in the, the live and heard the word earlier. <laughs> and that sweet, sweet woman, she came by. She bought him. She went and stuff. bought me a brand new. Bought me a brand new thing, and she came and she said, Dave, now put this in your house. So now you got one in your house, and then keep one in your car. It won't last. It's going to end up in the car. Or wash. I don't know. Yeah, it's going to wash. Oh, Grady, apparently. Mom said I can't do nothing. Oh, it's all Grady was getting those kind of threats. Really? What? Wow. From, I guess, from their neighbor or something like that. Thanks, Jan. Yeah, definitely. They definitely need to report them and block their account. I owned a business where I helped people throw things away. Really? I, I do have an issue with not necessarily hoarding, because I don't keep stuff. Like, we're not hoarders, obviously, but... I don't like letting stuff go. Like, say I was digging through my stuff and I found something I ain't seen in 10 years. I don't want to let go of it because I just don't want to. I just don't like you. 
that's why I do it for him. Videos out on it. I'm gonna have to check that out. It's all Grady. We're gonna have to go check out it's I all Grady videos. I want to see. It's the living truck in the summer now. Nobody wants to see all that. <laughs> I, I, hard, well, yeah. I wear shorts, but I stay purple. Uh, <laughs> bro, you're gonna get yourself in dust. You're gonna go to the room. I know. Stop Shush. it. You're in trouble, Zeus. Helped a lot of hoarders. Oh, so you seriously did, Jan? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I could I could see in about a 15 or 10, 15, 20 year period of me being in one place, it turning into something like that. Possibly. <laughs> I'm, but the first step is being able to admit it. Okay. No, no. Because the first step would to have a job to be able to buy stuff to be hoarded. Even though you've not worked for the last six or seven months, you still managed to not get rid of anything. No. Oh, was I was at important. my sister's yesterday. We went over, what was it? No, it was Sunday. We went over there when we seen the pastor. We met the pastor and uh, we hung out for a little bit. And my sister was busting out a bunch of old pictures. I'm going to get them uploaded to the computer and I'll, I'll put them up for you all to see. She, I got a bunch of pictures of me back when I was like 18, 19 years old when we were partying and acting stupid. And then there's tons of pictures of me and my first daughter, Tara Ann, that I want to show y'all, which is awesome that I, I haven't seen in 20 years. Found a picture of my brother that she took. Yes, and pictures of Sammy and her family whenever they were kids. It was super cool, man. And like baseball cards that I collected back in 1990, like a big old sleeve, like four or five sleeves full of 1990 baseball cards. Pretty cool. So cool. So cool. Sorry, I had to let y'all know that. David, your sister is a good one. Yes, I love She's my sister. For sure keep her. Me, my me sister. and my sister have always, we've been best friends from the first time I held her. I knew that I had to protect her. Even when I was five years old and mom came home with her from the hospital, I'll never forget it. And that's literally like one of my very first memories that I can remember is in that area, that time frame when my sister was born. You ignored that, Sam. What did I ignore? Oh, you're saying that you still managed to not get rid of anything. <laughs> it's an emotional attachment. That's what it is. That's exactly what it is, Jan. I am all the emotional and it, it attachment feels, that you need. It feels that way. I would throw everything away. I would throw everything away. I'm a level three hoarder. That's a real the subject for me. me <laughs> Natasha said, I'm a level three hoarder. That's a real subject for me. Lay down, boy. Lay. Lay down. I'm from California, Natasha. I don't play games either. Cali boy. Oh, James. I like James, man. He's my ah! buddy. We were actually messaging back and forth yesterday. He sent me a, an awesome sermon on prayer yesterday, which was really good. You should watch it. It's really good. Okay, so now he said something earlier, but I'd definitely be praying for you. I know. Yeah. Starting a new job sucks. Coco just saying hi to Auntie Melinda. <laughs> we sold yeah. nearly everything we own and gave the rest away. It was so freeing. I bet. Tosh said, I'm real life storage wars. You don't want to be at an auction I'm at. I love it. I'm but so you got addicted. good stuff, though. Oh, I would love I've never been to one of those storage auctions before. That would be super cool. I've had a couple storages get auctioned. Does that count? <laughs> it sure does, baby. It sure does. Oh, I did just seen where your mama said. You share the photo. I will. I will share those photos. Sorry. Said that it's their neighbor. He's crazy. Shot at their house. Dang, that is crazy, man. I want to go back and watch the video. But uh, Heartland, oh, okay. I'm, I'm. What I'm gonna do is I'll upload them to Streamyard, and then our our uh, live next Tuesday, I'll put them on there to where I can.
just pull them up and I can show them on the live and show everybody the pictures of Tara Ann. Natasha said, not me at Heartland. I'm from the hood. I don't play that. <laughs> oh, sweet little Coco. Their neighbors blocking them would require a will deleting them. You got your chihuahua. I got my chihuahua. He looks forward to these two Tuesday night because he knows he will see yours. Oh, that was so cute. Oh, I tossed his chihuahua while I was waiting to see Coco on Tuesday night. <laughs> he needs to make a video with the pics. That would be cool. That is a good idea, Mom. I, and I thought, because remember, I at one point, I planned on making like a memorial video of Squirrel Dirt and for Tara. And I never, I never got it completed. I need to do that. And now that Kara has all those pictures, because I'm sure she has a lot more. We didn't sit and go through all of them. So I need to go get with her and actually go through all she's got. Because I'm sure she's got tons more. That's a good idea. Hello, Jamie Wooten. Hey, 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 how you doing? What's going on, Jamie Wooten. How you feeling? Are you, yeah, are you doing all right, bud? Is everything going smooth? You. I was trying to remember your first name, but I remembered your last name. Barb said, I can't hoard. I hate dust. <laughs> that is me. And me working six days a week is just not working for me. But David does the best he can. I, he just can't clean like I can. But he picks it up well. So that I do sincerely oh, appreciate. You on Facebook months. And these dogs. Getting ready to they get produce a bunch of stuff in my house. You want it? They're worth it. Tish is giving stuff away. No! <laughs> Thank you, though. It's going all right. Thanks. Well, good, Jamie. I'm glad you came back, man. That's awesome. I'm glad you're here, bud. Grew up in Dub K, Wichita. Don't mess around with stupid. Just saying. Yeah, we don't. What? We, we don't over here either. Talking what? about the crazy. It's all, it's all written. Oh. In their situation. Yeah, we're. I'm definitely. As soon as we get done here, I'm going to go back and watch that video. People are crazy, man. This goes with so much hatred. That's what that tells me. So I said, no, it's super cool till it's all in your house, overwhelming you, sorting it all. Yep, that's, that's what. If y'all seen this back room, confession. Yeah, we, the back room is pretty. That's the kids all. Full. But there's going to be really cool parts about it. Well, for one, I've, I've literally got a thousand dollar toolbox that I bought in 2017. Not selling it. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. That I bought in 2017 when I worked for Robertson Tire. And I have still, to this day, never gotten to use it. It is brand new. But I'm about to have somewhere I can have it used. It's a roll around. It's one of the big three tray roll around. It's got the top and then it's got three drawers and it's got the big pocket on the bottom. Yeah. yeah, super excited about that. For money in my pocket, nope. yes, sir. Ain't selling nothing. Me too. Back off. Exactly, Atasha. What toolbox? <laughs> Whatever. You better still be there, dude. <laughs> Dennis said, sorry I'm late. I was slidding the Biden. What I missed? What, slidding the Biden. Do a video, David. Okay, of the of the pictures and stuff. I'll do that. I will do that. I seriously will do that. I will get with my sister tomorrow and have her dig out all the pictures she can find of Tara Ann, and I will do a specific video just about Tara Ann. Yes, Dan. Tara it Ann would be twenty years old this year in June. June sixth is her birthday. She would be twenty years old. Yes, Dan. What? See, the thing is, is He's not noticed it because it's literally buried for where it was. So that's why he's not noticed that I did. 
You're full of crap. What? No, no, you didn't. I was just in it yesterday. That was some fast express shipping. Yeah, I know. I had to clean up everything because you just threw it all around. <laughs> just trying to get to the toolbox and then picked any of it up. Yeah, that. Jamie said he's getting the best help. That is awesome. That Amen. is so cool. I really am so glad that you came back. That's so sliding, cool. Sliding the bike. I grew up in Dub K, Wichita. I don't mess around with stupid. Just saying. <laughs> I love it. Dub K, Wichita. What? <laughs> so I'm talking about on me. I don't know how far behind on comments I am, but I'm just kind of skimming. I'm trying to stay caught up. Hey, Christy. Thanks for getting this out. Awesome. Thank you. We appreciate your support. We love you. Who? Christine from Miss Gillian Farms. Is she here? Yes. Oh, I thought you said she was leaving. Hello, Christine. She said she's here. She can't comment, but she's listening. I am. I am still working. I'm, I'm hoping to get the sign done that I'm making for the meetup. It's going to be really cool. I'm super close. I've got everything cut out. I've got all the pieces for it. Now I just got to get everything painted and glued together. But we're running out of time, man. And I'm about to be starting this job. So that's going to put a clinch on it, too. So. If I can work six days a week, you can I get, hey, I've gotten far. I've done I've done a good week's worth in like two days. Like I really busted my butt on it for like two I days straight. It, You're just paying it in is all I heard. You don't want me to paint it. But it's super cool. Like three I want to show you some of the pieces. The I ain't really going to be able to hold it up because... Yeah, please, don't hit the wall. Don't hit it. Don't hit the mic. Don't hit it. Oh. oh. He's going to start messing with stuff, Melinda. I just got to paint it. And it's not glued together, so it's a bunch of pieces still. There's the eagle. And the 2024. My favorite part is the arrow. Super cool though, huh? Really Look how good the fish the fish turned out. Yeah. All of it, sweetheart. Yeah. It's all good. All good stuff. Super cool. Super cool. Turned out really good. Okay, now I'm super far behind on it. You're distracting me. Judgment here with Tiz Frost the podcast. I'm getting help. That's awesome. Jamie's getting help. <clears throat> so proud of you, for real. We know today's eight years for David. Mine's a three months. <laughs> what? Dennis said, "Sorry, I'm late. I was sliding to Biden." That's why I, I said. Missed. That's why I looked at you. What? When I said, "Does that mean a dookie?" <laughs> and you completely ignored me. I don't know. Is that what it means? Oh, if it does, that's hilarious. Oh, uh, sweet. I would show y'all's Jans. I've been dying to show Jans off, but Jan wants to wait for it to be a surprise. Not so doing it's it. literally it's hanging, hanging on my wall right now. It's hanging right over I know, my head. I noticed it whenever I came in. So cool. Let me go back. I feel like I missed stuff. In the Ogie because she asked us to write the chapters in the book. I was it was her idea for us to partner with her in her vision. Jan said no, she has that toolbox. And I believe Jan. I believe Jan. <laughs> Whatever. It'd be hard to she send said, anyways because it is a very it. big toolbox. She said we overnighted it. No, okay. Okay. You were asleep. Or just simply oblivious. I don't know what the scenario was. We love you, Christine. Thank you for being in yes, here. Yes, thank you. We appreciate you very, very much. Jan keeps saying, nope, I have it. <laughs> Listen to Jan. You better do it. Watch that Tish. I was watching Tristan. That. Yes, that's another thing, too. I do need to go back and watch uh, Tish's live that she did the other night when Tristan was on. Because I was so tuned into Tristan. I know, I was watching Tristan, too. Yeah. Tristan is so. Go I admire Tristan's just 
his ability to his teach the word and to be able to explain it. So it's my my deepness don't get that deep like he does. I will I maybe one day I'll get there, but I try. It's the deeper things that like the economy at the time, like different, you know. Just, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, the details. He knows he knows the details so well. So but we gotta I, figure out who's watching our dogs. When? When we go. Oh, I'm sure we can ask Care Bear. Um, so I just thought about that. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, and whenever we met the the preacher the other day over at my sister's, and uh, I was I was explaining to him. So first off, this is how I walked in. So when we first got there, I I was thinking to myself, I was like, am I gonna be as real as possible? And I thought, you know what, I am gonna be as real as possible. So before, after church, and before we went to meet him at my sister's, I was trying to get my mower started. And I fought my mower for like two hours. I had to walk away. And I got upset a couple times. And Sam was like, we're going to meet the preacher. I was like, good. <laughs> you better but have As soon salvation. as we walked in to meet the preacher, this is literally like the second time he's met me. I walked in. I was like, sorry, I've been fighting my mower for two hours. I had to start my salvation over twice. <laughs> he just started laughing. And uh... little did he know he was not playing. <laughs> And I even told him, I said, my wife even getting on to me saying, we're going to meet the preacher. I said, good. I was trying to calm him down. I didn't quite work out. The it was pretty funny. Thing. And he took it well. He did. I wanted to be as real as possible. He's more like my, I think, probably closer to my age. Yeah. And I was telling him, uh, like but I was telling him that or... I feel like I'm being called to ministry. And I said, no, I don't know if maybe it's just going to be an online type thing or whatever. He's like, oh, really? He's like, so where uh, is it? Is it an online thing? And I didn't really get what he was saying at first, but he was asking me, like, what kind of uh, ministry school I was going to. He was like, oh, no, 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 no. I mean, I'm being called to it. I'm not, not saying that I'm I've picked in. up the phone and done it. <laughs> I'm not going through classes. I'm just being called to it. Right? But we're all, we're all called, right? Yeah. It don't take a piece of paper from a man saying that you're, you're good to go do this. No, no. God is the one who do it. People's lives are being changed by our testimony. Can't wait to see everyone at the meetup. I know. I can't wait to see everyone at the meetup, too. Cannot wait. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Go over a week. Chop, chop, David. Yeah, I know. We're getting It's getting tight. The time's getting tight. I'm probably so far behind. Be Looks so great, Dave. Last night, I was up and down. It was rough. I'm sorry, Lynn. Thank you, guys. Nate was like, was up and Oh, yeah, that stinks, Lynn. I hate those kind of nights. Dennis was asking why your favorite part was the arrow. Yeah, I think it's the part where the thing <laughs> came down into the piece. What? Dennis, he asked you why the arrow was your favorite part. Oh, because, look, I'll show you. What, baby? First off, the, the arrow, I would burn the arrow. I didn't would burn the rest of it. So that's that's one thing I liked more about the arrow, but also how I did it is I cut the arrow piece out so it's like a puzzle piece. See? I thought that was super cool. Just gives it some more character, you know what I mean? <laughs> Melinda said, that's nice. Put it down so you don't lose pieces. Nailed it. <laughs> hey, that's looking great, but why did you ever put the arrow? Fish. Oh, yeah. Speaking of fish, okay, so the pond that I have been fishing for the past five years and have gone and fished about 12 times this year, I've caught maybe one decent little bass out of the whole time I've been there. I bring my wife there yesterday on like probably the most terrible day to go fishing ever. The wind was blowing 100 miles an hour and it was cloudy and it was everything else. I caught nothing. I got a couple bites. She caught like four largemouth, literally. <clears throat> Fishing right next to me. Like, <laughs> she's here, I'm here. She caught four largemouth. She caught one that was like close to four pounds, if not four pounds. And guess how much I caught? Zero. <laughs> you believe that? I do. It has do. not been my year. It has not been. In my year. James said yes, I, I, dropping a deuce. 
oh, okay, cool. Then I, I was right then. I told him that I was teaching the tricks and the trades of fishing. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and uh, Barb, yes, that w- that w- kind of was in the plans for that to try to turn that into a side hustle. It's, it's, it takes so much time. He didn't think it through. It takes so much time to put that much detail into these signs. Like, I would literally have to sell them signs for like one hundred fifty, two hundred dollars a piece for it to work out as an actual. Income. You know what I'm saying? And right. And that's what not what he did not want. No, I know. I don't want to charge an arm and a leg. Hi, Cass. There's my cousin Cassie. Hi, Cassie. Lisa, where's your dad? But I still do. I still do want to do them for people that you know, part of our family, people that I love. If y'all want one, still, I'm still down with making you one. It just, it ain't gonna be real quick. I got pooches, tishes made. I got jans made. I got to finish the meetup one. But then after the meetup one's done, I'll be open. For the next one, I was supposed to, I think, start on Stank and Stabby's next, but I haven't heard from them on the sign in a while. I think everybody knew, it. like, we just filled up with stuff to do. I started Seven the other, months later. I started the other channel, which is a podcast every day, which is not only a podcast every day, it's having to study a full chapter, like, in depth as much as I possibly can, so that takes time. And then door dashing on top of it, and just it's just a lot of stuff. Just got too much going on, trying to overwhelm myself. Congratulations, Sammy! Awesome fishing. Thank you, thank you. I'm just rubbing in. Jan rubbing said in. you can show everyone. I will go into the kitchen. Okay, all right, Jan. Seriously, what? send Samantha a text message and let me know that well, you're how not she in gonna front. Do that if she's on her phone. She's probably on her computer, dude. Are you on your computer? Send Sam a text message and let me know when you're not looking. Because I'm going to show everybody your sign. I don't know what to do. Because I don't know if she's away from it. Check your text messages. She's going to text message you. Did she say yes? Well, I don't know, but I imagine she will. Nothing yet. Yes, Jan is going to be at the meetup. Because we are camping out in Jan's area. In her, Lynn, in her so spot. Jan will be there. Thank y'all for being there with and for Tristan. It makes my heart feel happy. Oh, absolutely! I love being there for Tristan. He's got. A okay, gift. she says she's in the kitchen. Go. Okay, okay, guys, here we go. Okay, okay. How beautiful that is. Beautiful. See how it's got the lights on the building? (laughs) Awesome, man. I've been waiting to share that. Oh, I thought we froze. Oh, my phone did, though. I've been waiting to share that with you guys. Now I got it. I'm going to skip all the comments, guys, and get down to the bottom, see what everybody's thinking. Perfect. Very Mom cool. Awesome. Love it. Perfect. They're cool. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. I bet that. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, Jan. You're good. You can come back. I already texted you. Okay. Hey, Josh. What's going on, uh, man? Thank you, buddy. Thanks busy. for coming in, bro. Yes, today is my eight, eight year sobriety anniversary. April 16th, 2016 was the last time I used drugs, y'all. Definitely something to be proud of. Yeah, heck yeah. Yeah, love you, Josh. Thanks for coming in, bro. And Cassie? Cassie is Uncle Ed's daughter, for those that know Uncle Ed. Yeah, Cassie's Uncle Ed's daughter. Where is Uncle Ed? Josh is, like, one of my best friends from high school, like, but he's one of the friends that were, like, there for me. Remember, his brother came in a few weeks ago, Matt. And uh, he was, like, a real friend. You know what I mean? Like, even when I was struggling and homeless in the street, like, Josh would help me with a place to stay. And his wife would feed me. And, like, just, like, a true friend. Janie's come in here, too. Before. Yeah, Janie's been in here. Janie's his wife. Yeah. Thanks for coming in, man. 
Good to see you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It means a lot to me, man. Today is a very important day to That's me. That's exactly what happened. TNT was in the kitchen and handed that over to Dave real quick. But Because she was finishing up Jan's time. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. No, but I, I was really proud of Jan's sign. I that, that one turned out even cooler than I thought it was Thank going you, to. Happy anniversary, James. Hey, Chris. Peter, what's going on? Hey, oh, man, Peter. King Homestead. Howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. I'm going to back up a little bit and see Ooh, what I missed that. here. That gum, that's awesome. Dennis said, that gum, that's awesome. That gummy. <laughs> You know, me and Sammy are going to be besties. For real. She's funny. <laughs> Natasha gotcha. likes you. Gotcha. <laughs> this is me. She cracks me up. That's what made me fall in love with her. She's just a dingbat. I, I am. <laughs> She's a dingbat. I know, Jan. I cannot wait to give it to you, man. You're going to be super excited. I know you're going to love it. 11 months over. Awesome, Josh. Dude, congratulations, brother. That's awesome. Josh, I'm 11 months sober from alcohol. Drink that cup way too long. Congratulations, man. That is something to proud definitely be proud of. You're almost to your one year. Yeah, that's awesome. Dude, I remember whenever I first got sober, I remember like, I was still in the rehab thing for the first two months. I only did rehab for two months, 60 days, maybe three months, a, three months 90 days. But uh, I remember being in there and, you know, people would get up and do their testimonies and some guys would be like, I've been eight years or 10 years. And I remember just sitting there and just feeling like having that imagining really like, man, how would it feel to be able to say like that I've had this many years of sobriety behind me? And just being there now, it's just, it's insane. Like, it's, and it feels like it was just yesterday that I was sitting there having those thoughts, right? It's super cool. Time flies by, man. And so we're getting glad. old, bro, so. So glad. Sobriety is possible, yes. James, you yes, sir. That hat, though. Ain't losing the hat. Sorry about it. Aw, I'll, I'll go put a different fly. hat on, but it's going to have the same stamp Emblem. on it. <laughs> Yeah, that's super awesome. Sobriety is definitely possible. Trust me. And Josh can definitely put a stamp on this. If I can get clean and change my life, I promise you there is not a soul in this world that can't do it. It just I was, feels that way mentally. You're I was the sinner of all Christ. sinners, like Paul says. I was the king of the sinners. I was far, so far gone. It was insane. Okay. Sobriety is super cool, man. Thank you, Doris. Hello. Hi, Doris. Hello, hello. Hi, Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Mine is in August. I think it's like August 16th. Yeah, hers was shortly after mine because I went and I picked didn't her take up. him serious. Yeah. So that that's the thing is I know she didn't. I don't think because y'all know our story, like, I hit rock bottom. Sam called her mom. Her mom come picked her up. She went back to Indiana. And I didn't hear from Sam for like three days. Well, in that three-day period, I really went downhill. Like even more so than where I was, which I wouldn't even think, you wouldn't even think was possible. But it was. And I really went downhill because I felt like I'd lost everything. Sam was all I had. Well, then about three days into it, I get a text message on my phone pop up. And she's like, if you want to be able to keep our relationship going, you'll have to find a faith-based rehab and get yourself cleaned up. I know that she did not think at all that that would truly no, happen. I'm admitting it. But in that moment, as soon as I seen that God. message, it was that fast, that fast. I immediately called my mom. She came and got me. And then three months later, I told her, I said, as soon as I get my first job, I'm coming to get you. And the first paycheck I got, I got a job at Walmart, got my first paycheck, went and told my sister to rent me a car. She took my check, went and rented me a car for three days. And I booked it to Indiana and came back. I even got kicked out of rehab for leaving without telling anybody. 
but I was so far into it by that point, I, I knew I was, I was where I needed to be. So all I needed was those few months to get my head straight, right? So, yeah. Sorry. Love you too, Cass. Thank you. October 2007, after drinking from a sophomore in high school. Awesome, James. Yeah, James is like 30. 2007. That'd be... James is 30? Oh, you know, 30 years sober. Oh, okay. Not quite. I guess that'd be 20 years. Just under 20 years. How many years, years is it, James? He said 2007, after uh, drinking from a sophomore. Three years. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven years, almost thirty years. It's a long okay. time. I can't do math. Two thousand seven, twenty seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Yeah, seventeen. Seventeen years. Not twenty-seven. <laughs> Just what day will you be at Tingular? Hello, everyone. Treasure hunter Neil. What's going on, Neil? Hey, Neil. That's my that's my bass instructor right there. Uh no 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 Neil I'm sorry I have now taken that place. Oh god. Uh, that is now me. Yeah and Neil you if you didn't if you didn't hear the story Neil I took Sam fishing yesterday and no, she no, no, no. I took him fishing. she smoked me. <laughs> she caught four large mouth I caught zero. Sure enough. There we be it. Yes, sir. That's my testimony to find a celebrate recovery at a church near you. Yes, celebrate recovery definitely works. That is an awesome, a very, very awesome program. I actually did work that program years ago when I was trying to get clean, and I did actually stay sober for about a year and a half, but I fell off the wagon. But re celebrate recovery is what is what did it for me in that in that stint. See, for me, I didn't, in all honesty, if I may be honest, all I wanted was him, yep. and I seen that he was clean, and I was not going to be his downfall. That's why I got sober. Yeah, I was her rehab, basically. And then I was able to feel like I can make my mama proud. On the road, Cassie's on the road. Yeah, and we did sure. it together. And <clears throat> the chances of that happening are even lower than the, I think it's like 3% of people who become clean after being an addict for that long. Only 3% actually truly make it. Well, I think the percentage is even lower for a couple that were addicts together. We were addicts together for six years. And we got clean together and, and made it. Eight years now. Years? Yeah. 2012. 20, yeah, 2012. We've been to 2016, years. four years. So we were addicts together for four years. Here's that stupid Love watching math you again. Both. Your testimony helps so many people. I'm so proud of you both. God is good. Thank you, Doris. Thank you, Miss Doris. Thank you. And that that is that is awesome. I love I love hearing that. Because that's what that's what we want. We want our testimony to help other people. And that's why I started my other channel. And I, I just, I, my heart is for people that are where I used to be. Because people oh, awesome. where I used to be, you want that hope that and you awesome. hope for that, but you just can't see the doorway. Like you just can't see a way out of it, right? It's not that you don't want it. You just don't see a possible way for it to happen, right? And that's what's kept me stuck in addiction for so long. And that's why I want to reach people that are in that same boat today where I used to be because I, I understand exactly where they're at and how they feel. And there is a doorway to get out of it. And there I is. just want to share that. It's just a people. lot of work. Yeah, it don't, of course, it takes work it and you have to want it. So you have to want it. If, if there's any part of you that don't want it, it ain't going to work. That's why, I, that's why I failed in it. 25 times over Proverbs 19 years. over and over and over and over and over again. I don't know why Proverbs. I know it's the book of wisdom. So yeah. Well, whenever I first, the first day. rehab I went to for the first few weeks that I ended up not staying at, I went to a different program, but that's where we, that's how they did it in that program. So we woke up every morning and we read the proverb for that day, that chapter for that day, 30 days, 30 proverbs. And that's how we did it every other day.
Barb said, numbers are hard. <laughs> it sucks. I'm actually usually pretty good at numbers. They only passed me in school, and I'm, I kid you not, that was the worst subject for me. They literally only passed me because I, sim I tried my hardest. I tried my hardest, and I still could not understand. Natasha said, I'm not crying, you're crying. I love, love it. You. Thank you, Tasha. Yeah, after I had my car wreck, I went. I was already, I was trying to recover before my car wreck. Even though recovery for me at that time was methadone clinic. But nonetheless, I was able to maintain a, a job yeah. and start to develop a paycheck. It was the main thing. Just said, congratulations, all you sober crazies. <laughs> yeah! Go team! I've been doing yard work, but my back is in pain. Hey, oh, but you're at least out there doing yard work, Neil. That's awesome, man. Don't overdo yeah, it. Yeah, don't though. don't push it too far. Absolutely. He knows what Absolutely, don't push it too far. Even I, you got to know your limits, but that's something that you learn after going through something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, he said he was a drunk for thirty years, and now he's been seventeen years clean. I knew thirty was relevant. I knew. I remembered you saying thirty years. Look, he so remembered something. He did drink Everybody. for thirty years. <laughs> God is awesome, Jan. He is, Won't and that that it? absolutely, obviously, is the, the main key, the, the main source to it all. Of course. Did you are walking. Really? Did this? He said he and his late wife. He said my late wife and I were well, as well, were addicts together and got clean together. Awesome. awesome. That is awesome. You don't hear that very often. You know? I've not heard it very and often. to stay that way. Josh I, I said 20 years of drinking and I did it with Jesus and my wife. Yes, That's indeed. awesome. Amen. You guys, and I love you hearing that life. even more, bro, Just that you, you're getting centered in Christ, dude. Yeah. I love that, dude. You have no idea what that means to me, bro. That's yeah. so cool. Jesus is awesome. Jesus is awesome. I know. Jesus is more than awesome. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Neil said, I used to get sloppy drunk about 47 years ago. 47 years ago. James said, then I quit, Neil. I was drinking I, about a fifth, a fifth bottle before going to the bar. Jesus. Neil, I think I was uh, negative seven. Negative seven years old. On the amount of pit, oh. I'm just giving you a hard time, bro. I don't even get it. I'm sorry. He said, I used to get sloppy drunk about 47 years ago. I said, I think I was about negative seven years old. It was seven years before I was born. Really? <laughs> I don't get it. You still don't get it? No. I, like, I it don't It was seven what years the before. The punchline is, is what I'm saying. Oh, my God. I give up. Well, is it me or is it her? Is it me or is it her? I think it's him. Jeez. He's not good late with the jokes. I, uh, about the same time I smoke cigars. Smoke cigars, man. I like to have a cigar every once in a while. Yeah. Next step is for me to put this down. I'm so addicted to When I to quit, it. Neil, I was drinking half a fifth of bottle before going Literally to the bar. Literally just read that. That's, that's drinking, son. I'm just I giving you, you a hard sick. time. You know, I bet you were sick. I, I am so sorry. I know whenever, whenever I was coming off of the methadone, as soon as that sun would go down, I would have the restless leg syndrome, but it would be in my neck all the way down to my toes. Oh, from opiates? And I'd sit there yeah. All night until the sun come up for three months. Yeah, opiates are hard. I've heard, I've heard, because mine yeah. was methamphetamines and. And from what, from my understanding, meth is actually one of the easiest. Yeah, drugs you sleep it off to get off of. And then you but build it's a not at again. the same time. Whenever you've done it for well, almost yeah, twenty I'm years. Oh yeah, I'm sure in that aspect, it was nothing for me. It was when I couldn't have my opioids, I just did whatever. And thank God we got out of it. Period. Anyway, but what the stories that I've heard today about awesome, Lynn. It's just too many people are dying. People oh yeah, died. oh yeah. We we made it out of it in the nick of time because it literally it it didn't seem like maybe the next year after we got clean 
is fentanyl, when fentanyl, fentanyl started fentanyl. hitting the streets and you were hearing about death after death, people so overdose and overdose and over. Like, we made it out in the nick of time, absolutely, because I wouldn't have made it another, I wouldn't have made it another eight it. years for sure. I would not have made it through this. Uh, I wouldn't have either. This fentanyl crisis. Nope. Snuck in the Neil said they snuck in the hard liquor in the bar with them. Cheaper that way, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Cassie. Oh, thank you for answering her, uh, Mama T. Uh, where are you? Where is the question again? Are you in New York? Is that right? Is yeah. A- New York. New York. New York. Yeah, I turned 40 this past November. Natasha, welcome to the 40 Club. I just turned 34. 34. Yes and amen, David. Always. My dad is on the road. Oh, Oh. okay. I was like, where's it? I I was wondering how he missed our live today, earlier today, and yesterday. And he was supposed to get a hold of me Sunday, and I never heard from him. He did pop in on our fishing live yesterday, but he was half asleep. I wasn't even thought of yet. Tell me who knew. Jan said, 40, what's that? I couldn't, I can't, I can't imagine looking back and thinking 40 was 20, 30 years ago. But I can't even believe I'm 34. Get off of me. What, Willie Dennis? No. Boy. I'll mess you up. <laughs> June 4th of this year will be That's free crazy. of soda pop and cigarettes. That is a huge accomplishment too, Lynn. Absolutely. Good job. Because I am a soda pop freak and I need to quit. Sam was just getting on me today. What? Eight years. I do. I went on a couple stints where I do real good and I drink nothing but water. And I do good and then I I break down and I'm like, okay, I'll have one glass of pop and then it's so good. over with as soon as I have that cup. Just like anything, you're trying to quit. You can't just Mine's do ice one. Cream. Mine's ice cream. Can't just do one. I'm highly, highly addicted to cream. Hurry it. I know, Jan. That's so true. I couldn't imagine it either. It's it's just like I said, it's way Ooh. too dangerous these Fish, days. if you do, I want one. Tish said that she wants to. She said, I'm thinking of making a t shirt for y'all. Front says, I'm a quitter. The back says, Sobriety is cool. That is, that's a good it. idea. That is a really good I idea. I love it. I want one. God's timing is awesome. Jan said, 40. What's that? I know. That's <laughs> said. Natasha said, <laughs> Yeah. I'm She's 34. My God, girl. <laughs> How old are you? Are, is, she, is she 40? 40. She just turned 40. Yeah. Yeah. James said, I use meth as well. Crazy. Smoke weed on a regular. Smoke crack. Did go to LSD. I did a lot of stuff and I'm surprised I'm alive. Yes, James. I I was the same way, man. Anything that was in front of me, but my my go-to was meth. I was a speed freak. I like I liked to be going. I had to be going. But I did anything, I and I literally tried <laughs> everything. But that's actually kind of true. It would make me forget everything. Yeah. Once I hit that scene, I like to be the blah, blah, that way, too. But for from being a teenager all the way through my 20s, I just, I love speed, man. It made me want to go do stuff and get stuff done, except for life. <laughs> Is the only thing I couldn't juggle real life and addiction at the same time. It this was, man would be walking like ten miles a day. Yeah, I did. I walked like, everywhere. Like literally, he would. There was times he'd ask his mom to be able to sleep in her jeep to bring down peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. You have to sleep in the car. Yep, sleep out in the car. Bring me peanut butter jelly. Yeah, it was. Betting though. Bad times, man. But which I understand, though. Which I understand now. now I understand. Now. I wouldn't have wanted me. I, you wouldn't have been able to trust me around, right? Or me. I'm thinking of making it. Oh, okay. You read that one. I would love to be 40 again. 
Thank you, Jane. Can't believe I made Thank it. Thank you, Dennis. One. I hope everybody. The sleep says God is good. Yes. Yes, that yes. is such a good idea. Or won't he? Capital H. Ooh. Or, uh, yeah, won't he will be good like on one sleeve and then God is good on the other one. Won't he do it? That would be hard to do, though. That's a lot of stamps on one shirt. But just that would be ideas. super awesome. Even if you just made a super cool one just for us to wear. If that's what you're talking about. Are you talking about selling them? I wish I had all the presses and stuff to make t-shirts and You'd be good at it. That would be so cool. Get a cricket? What do you all, what, what is Putin, what do you guys use? Is it a cricket? Or is it an actual, like, you don't like the way I say what, Atasha? What did I say? What did he say? Tell me, tell me. Tell <laughs> he me. said, I don't like the way he says that, Sam. I'm waiting for it. <laughs> what did I say? Praying y'all have a blessed night. With some Love sweet, you, Tish. Sweet. Thank you, Dennis. What time is it? Oh. It's almost time. we got four minutes left. Three and a half minutes. I love you. Good idea. Night, Dennis. Ooh, ooh. Double that. Tell me, Tasha. Waiting. Beth turned 61 last Saturday. 61. I was not expected to make it past 25. Love you, Tish. Mom said five minutes. David is close to my brother's age. I just turned 40. Happy birthday, Beth. Yeah. Happy birthday, sister. Oh, it's Beth's it's best birthday. Happy birthday, Happy Beth. Birthday. We're all sitting here talking about birthdays, and nobody said it was Beth's birthday. Hi. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. The real The real. Hang on. Go. Where was I? Was we're trying to read her comment. Stop being so hard. Did she take it off there? Yeah. We still gotta we still gotta finish cutting Harry Feet's feet. Hi Courtney. <laughs> Harry Feet. We tried. Harry guys. Feet. It ain't worth the fight. Harry I'm Feet. I need a muzzle. My Harry Feet boy. We still haven't got the chopping the rest of it off. It was a thirteen. Well, it's close enough, Beth. Happy birthday. It was a thirteen. That was Saturday, wasn't it? Happy birthday to you. Well, you need to call him Goober. <laughs> You're saying, well, you need to call him Goober. Oh, Dad. Yeah. Uncle Ed. I, I don't have his number. I sent him my number. He was supposed to call me. He got a new number, Cassie. So whatever number you had, it's no good. No, I already sent Uncle Ed my new but number. Did, but I if said Cassie's mama, trying to send you, send you his number... Thank you, Natasha. We love you. We yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank Sincerely. You, thank you. I think Sam needs a new gallery cam. What's the gallery cam? What? what? I think Sam needs a new gallery cam for work. What's the policy? Police is necessary. Oh, are you talking about like dirt? Did she come to your Heard the Word? Is that what you're talking about on Heard the Word? Heard the Word is just my channel. If that's what you're talking about. If that's what you're saying. She said, sorry, this thing at work won't let me type. Yeah, I was a little confused, I'll be honest with you. But if that's what you're saying. <laughs> we love you. Apostolic mom, hello, take an old cheek. Hello, hello, welcome in. I'm sorry, we're almost done now. But thank you for coming. Oh, is that? That is smart. That is smart. 
through the hole, go hold your fucking machine over there. Huh? We love you, Jan. Thank you. We That's definitely enjoy doing that. Yes, absolutely. Okay, guys. We love you so much. Thank you for hanging out Definitely. with us. This was an awesome, awesome live. This was you, really Tasha. fun. This was really good. Love you, Tasha. Love, all of you. love you, Jan. Love you, Mom. Love all of you. Everybody. Love you, love you, Josh. If you're still in your bud, thanks for coming and hanging out, dude. Hope you hit that sub button. <laughs> I love you guys. Every one of you. Every stinking one of you are amazing. Every and thank you, thank you for everything y'all do, for all the love and the support and everything. Oh, the we love you guys so much. We love y'all. Stay blessed.